No. No, I made all that up. That came out of the fact that as a as the PIO, the writer, you know, I had to get a newspaper out every the photographer and I would have to cover everything. And one of the things we would have to cover would be the parties at the officers' club. And the officers' club was a, a riot because all the young lieutenants wanted my photographer and I to get pictures of them with the general. Well, the general would be served this general's punch. It's called artillery punch, and I, I, I know how to make it <laughs> back in my drinking days, which I don't anymore. But this stuff is something, you know. And the general, the idea was to get the general drunk as fast as, make him start feeling good, you know. So if you wanted to have anybody's picture with a general, it had to happen real soon because pretty soon you didn't take any pictures of the general because he was drunk. <laughs> and he looked, you know, uh-huh. <laughs> so uh, we had to sort of be this way and that way. And I saw a lot of stuff going on. And I saw something that I really respected a lot and have since then, which is that we are not a military nation. We are told we are by people who want us to believe that we are. But the army is a part of the country. And what that play is really about is a fact that that's what we aren't. Uh, and that a general commits suicide at an officers club party as an act of protest against the war. Something that would hardly happen. Not impossible. I've talked to some officers who've seen that play and they say, I, I, I see your point, you know. But um, yeah, I'm happy with that play. It was a disaster on Broadway. It was done first by Herbert Berghoff in his small theater, and it was just wonderful. Herbert did a superb job of this play. It was out, it was out of sight. Uh, Alan Schneider came and said, this is the best play I've ever seen. I'm going to do this. And he did later do it up in Boston. Cheryl Crawford sent me some money in the mail, said, I've got to do this. And we did it on Broadway, and it just was not right for Broadway. and uh, didn't work. Um, but since, has been done a lot. And I keep, I've, I've tinkered with it a bit. I've fooled with it and shortened it and everything. And, the last time was at the sig in the first season of the signature, and I got it, I think, about right. It was looked upon as a kind of strident, self-righteous, anti-war play. Well, yeah, sure. I, is there a pro-war play? I mean, you know. But everybody was writing plays about, you know, crazy generals and sadistic sergeants and everything like that. And what I was trying to write was a play about a very decent man who could not stand this anymore. And the reaction <clears throat> of all the people who were involved with him, who thought he was a wonderful, wonderful man, not only as an army general, but as a person, and who were, uh, what their reactions to an unbelievable thing, not only was he going to commit suicide, but he was going to kill an oriental child in front of a bunch of people as an act of protest, and, uh, and throw, throw the child's blood. Supposedly, the President of the United States was, was going to... He was, then he wasn't, but there was a flag. He was going to throw the child's blood on the flag, and he and his wife together, which is a, um, a Japanese uh, kind of story, a love suicide, which is something that I saw in, uh, in Japan. And the love, love suicides of the playwright Chikamatsu are very famous. And uh, so I use that and so forth. And it's a um, pretty strong play. Very strong. Yeah.